Hey guys, I'm Elise Wong and today I want to share with you a little bit of my painting process of how I usually paint realistically. Specifically for today are the mouths of dogs. Or in this case, it's a portrait of my dogs. So I hope this video kind of helps you out a little bit if you're doing a dog portrait of your own. And I feel that because it's a real-time tutorial of how I paint these dog mouths, it kind of gives you an idea of the amount of work that put into it because I feel that, you know, time-lapse these days, it kind of gives an illusion or it romanticizes the fact that paintings can be done just like that, just just minutes. And I feel, you know, that's that's a wrong way to think about it because I feel that can be a bit demotivating for certain artists because they feel like you know you spent this short amount of time and they're like wondering why is my painting not looking that great it takes a lot of work and also do know that this video is more than half an hour just to do one dog's mouth and the painting is not even that big guys so this is the painting that it did that i spent my time on it is a lot of work and just note that don't be discouraged. Always know that it great things takes time and lots of patience. And I hope this video can help you to achieve that goal. So without further ado, hope you enjoy. Today we're going to do just the tongue. And well, first things first that I always do is to Block in some foundation colors. So with this, I think I am going to go with red, a little bit of black, and a little bit of purple as well, just to show like a little bit of uh, light bounce, a little bit of that color bounce going on. in the colors also to roughly know the basic shape of it right somehow because when I did the fur it kind of goes inside of it as well so blocking in the colors helped me roughly um, make it known to myself where I should shade and where I shouldn't like over here should be a little bit reddish. The gums should be around here as well. And then he has like a little bit of a smile. So there's a little bit of that shadow going that and because it's the mouth um, because it's the mouth uh, it's gonna have like some shadows in there I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of black and I'm just taking all this color straight from the tube and just mixing things as I go along because I'm taking colors straight from the paint bottle and using golden artist colors kind of make it a little bit easier to mix it it's a little bit more fluid in that sense easier especially. I used to have a lot of, I spend like a lot of time on the eyes because you know eyes have 
good to have that blending in the eyes especially everybody is so focused on the eyes and it take me really really long because it's really hard to get that nice blend so and I started using golden artist colors it's I wouldn't say it's super easy but it's gotten faster easier and faster Acrylics is all about layering. It's not so much of blending, more of layering. So I put in red, and then it can also be a little bit. Uh, it can also be a bit too bright. So I'll darken it with black, but I put black as a glaze, and I'll kind of do it increasingly little bit by little bit but yeah it will increase the intensity or the darkness depends on what you're trying to go for purple in the shadows. I think that'll be best. Because I am still trying to practice that idea of not using black so much for the shadows. It is when you really pay attention there is a lot of colors going on. Brights are not just white and darks are not just black. It is a whole different level to it. That's it for now. I'll probably add in a little bit of uh, purple here and there. So I got myself a medium violet. It's nice, like, just to keep that with the consistency of the background as well. So it feels more one with the photo. It doesn't look super out of place, like you just copy and paste them. They look uh, part of the background. Okay, now I'm going to go for the lighter gums, which is a shade of pink. This one I had to mix it up myself, so I mixed a, I mixed the cadmium red hue and with some of titanium white. And the ratio is about half, half, one to one. So I'm just going to try and do the gums a little.
so I'm trying to do the same thing, kind of like a foundation to know where the barrier of where to paint and where to not paint. Right now it probably looks kind of weird because it looks kind of like he's wearing lipstick. <laughs> But let's not focus on that right now. So it's a bit of a light pink. And that is kind of like his mouth, honestly. His muzzle is just like that. And then we will do like the tongue, which is around here. So the teeth will be around here, which I will start painting. Here will be another one of the canine teeth, not the main teeth. We'll be kind of like jutting out here so you can see there'll be a little bit of bump which can be portrayed in the lighter parts of the tongue. process depending how you work around it. For me it definitely takes a while. Slowly blend those colors. I'm gonna go over it with a little bit more red. Pure this time, I'm not gonna darken it with uh, black. And then I'll follow up with some white highlights. That one will definitely make it look a little bit more alive, a little bit more moist. Because it is the mouth after all, you have like all that saliva to reflect the light. So I'm gonna add a little bit of We'll make that slit in the middle as the tongue usually have, especially in dogs. Not so much humans. Our tongues look a little bit more cylindrical than flat. a little bit of water to like blend the two okay now 
We're gonna do the tongue. I'm just gonna grab a... Well, I'm still using the same brush. That's a small brush. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this sparingly. I'm just going to... Put like little lines. I'm actually going to spread them out just to make the area look a little bit lighter. And if it's a bit too light, I can always go back with the ray, the pink. So you know, that, I think that's nice. The nice part about acrylics is very forgiving. You just need to add more and more layers. So if you're ever in doubt, it's really just lots of experimenting. I think the entire tongue. <laughs> In retrospect, the entire tongue looks like a bit too dark. See. Oh, it does get a little lighter here. Because acrylic is soluble in water while it's still wet. So it, you can take this opportunity, although it is a very small window, to take a clean brush but make sure the brush is wet to kind of like feather out the effects of the paint so it looks a little bit, it blends a little smoother. Once the acrylic fully dries, uh, this will be a bit difficult. I don't, you can't do it anymore because once it dries, acrylic becomes water resistant. So you can't do that anymore. You just have to keep layering. And that's what I'm doing right now. When in doubt, just just layer, just just add, just keep adding till you feel suddenly it looks good. Honestly, that is kind of like the secret to acrylics. I think I'm going to glaze some pink over the white. I'm not putting it really thick, I'm just glazing over it. So it's like a diluted pink. And since we're here, I 
Better do the same thing for the gums. Looks a little weird now because he has no teeth. It's like a grandpa dog. <laughs> grandpa dog with no teeth. Just creating a basic shape of how the gums would more or less fold around the mouth. Now I'm going to take pure white and I'm just going to dab a little on the tongue. bit on the gums too. The pure white. Like little little dots. Okay, going back, I have mixed a little bit of raw sienna. So I have a little bit of raw sienna here. And I did. I mixed a little bit with quite a lot of white, so it's like a 80-20 ratio. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the teeth, so you look less like a grandpa dog. And more like a regular dog. How are you gonna smile for the camera with no teeth? It's like a little bit of beige looking, and then we'll follow up with a little bit of um, white.
now I'll have the little, little teeth. They're really small in the front here. They're actually pretty flat from this angle, but I'm going to darken it because it's supposed to be under the tongue. Over the bottom teeth with raw sienna. Oh, before I do that, I think I have to go over with another layer of beige just to like solidify. Because right now, it, the peat doesn't feel one. A little better. I'm just going to take raw sienna from the bottle and just make some places a little darker and I'm going to outline it with red as well because it's underneath the, the tongue uh, it'll be a little bit of red shading So make sure it goes wider around the top there.
But I am going to still go over it with a little bit of red. Let's see. We want to glaze it, not cover it all with red. Try to make the teeth here a little bit more cylindrical. I'm just kind of like darkening over at the sides here and the other side. I'm gonna make the gums here a little bit darker just to create uh, a somewhat invisible outline. outline around the tongue. Help separate the two. area like the lips around here I am gonna make it a little bit darker so I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, red around certain areas take raw, a little bit of raw skin. I'm just going to do like a harsh, darker outline around the teeth. I'm going to make it a little bit more cylindrical, uh, followed by highlight, and then we will almost be done. violet in there as well. Let's see how that goes. So lots of experimenting. Hmm. Okay. 
we're gonna do a little bit of highlight. This time it'll be pure. This one will be just a dot or two. This area around the teeth to be darker though, uh, but I don't want to use black. So, ah, ah, my brush. so I'm going to add in a little bit more violet. And I'm going to take a smaller brush. I feel like this brush is a bit too big. I'm going to take a small brush, like a liner brush.
gonna He has a little bit of patches here and there, especially like the mouth as well. So, Not so grandpa looking dog now.
thanks guys for watching. I hope you find that helpful. And if you did and you feel that this video can help other artists, please feel free to share, like, and subscribe. And if you enjoy what I do and you like to support me, please head over to my Patreon page where you can also get monthly postcards, among other things. <laughs> yeah, that's all for today. I will see you guys on the next video. Ciao!